just in, eight Niger communities surrender to bandit warlord Dugu Gede's leadership. Call him governor. The son Nigeria, right? Can you imagine? So, do we have government in Nigeria that is fighting banditry? I didn't see you know, this kind of thing. Why not go there and showcase your force? You want to come to Southeast to kill the Igbos and you want to go to Niger to fight for ECOWAS. How can we continue like this? Does Tinubu know that this kind of problem exists in Nigeria? This problem of Niger State has always been there until uh, why Buhari was there until he left and it seems to still be there. How can a whole eight communities in a state Okay, surrender to a bandit and government is watching it. It means that government is part of the banditry. That is what it means. Breaking political news, eight Niger communities surrender to bandits warlord Dogogedes leadership, call him governor. Okay, wow. With barely two weeks after bandits group led by Dogo Gedes shot down a military helicopter on an evacuation mission in Kasao, Kusa village in Shiroro local government area of Niger state, about eight communities in the area have surrendered themselves to the leadership of the bandit warlord and have decided to pledge their loyalty and allegiance to the group. The communities are Kusao, Kwaki, Chukuba, Gulana, Apai, Nakuna, Yanka, and Kurebe. Okay, where the bandit warlord has continued to operate with impunity for the past years. And according to a very reliable source close to these communities, the over 1,000 inhabitants of these communities last week contributed full stuff to join the warlord to celebrate the successful shutting down of the helicopter without any major reaction from the authority and have equally submitted themselves to his leadership, adding that they now address him as governor. Can you imagine? It was gathered that the decision of the people to accept Dogogede as their leader was informed by the fact that despite the killing of the soldiers and shutting down of the helicopters by the bandits, the authority has not taken any major step towards the bandits, stressing that the only way for them is to submit themselves and the group because it appears that there, there is no, there's nothing anybody can do about the situation. Uh, once saw our source further revealed that the recent pronouncement by the state governor, uh, Right Honorable Umar Mohammed Bagu, that he was contemplating going into a dialogue with the bandit rather than uh, sticking to his campaign promises of going all out against the criminals, further demoralized the people and have therefore concluded that the only way for them to have to have peace and go about with their farming business is to submit themselves to Dogo Gede and his group. Can you imagine? So what is Tinubu's government, what is chief of farming staff or chief of defense staff doing about this matter? If it is Igbola now, they will, they, they will deploy their Tukan or Tukano jet. Now, deploy your Tukano jet and go and fight this bandit. They cannot. Why is it like this? As I speak with you, the people are planning to give a little, a title and made Dogo their king in these communities. At the moment, they refer to him as their governor because since the bandit has been operating in the area for the past eight years and killing the people, no governor of the state or any political leader has visited them. Can you imagine? These people have lost hope in their leaders and they believe that nobody can rescue them from the hand of these bandits and restore peace in their communities. So you don't blame them for pledging loyalty and allegiance to the warlord and his group if that is the only way they can have peace and embark on their farm businesses, our source added. Hmm. It was also learned that following this development, some members of these communities have volunteered to serve as intermediaries between the people and Dogo Gede led group for ease of communication and harmonious relationship. So according to our source, in Nakuna community, one Malam Johanna, who was sometimes arrested by special hunters operating in the area on suspicious 
of uh, suspicious of being an informant to the bandit is now serving as the intermediary between the bandit and his community. While in Apai community, a man popularly referred to to as Al Haji is the intermediary between the bandit and his community. Meanwhile, bandit group loyal to Dogo, Dede, and members of Boko Haram sect have shared territories within which to operate among themselves to any further clash. The demarcation of territories by these terrorists is coming barely seven months after the last bloody clash between the two groups leading to heavy casualties on both sides in February this year. So what is what is happening here? Eh? What is happening here? So where is President Tinubu? Where is the military? Where is everybody? And why are they trying to oppress the East? Meanwhile, I see a big problem in Niger State. They can solve it. Bandits have been operating. Uh, Buhari allowed them. All the houses in power during Buhari government, government allowed them. And these were operated to a point that they were almost few miles to Abuja. And they could not tell, attack them. They even came to Abuja and attacked the guard of brigades that is in charge of security of presidency and the government house in Abuja of ego square and nothing happened yeah? so it means that is government of bandits so the government of nigeria cannot fight bandits in niger state but they want to go to niger to fight for ECOWAS. what a big joke this is a big joke very serious joke i mean it this is a very serious joke you cannot fight bandit in nigeria but you want to go to niger to fight you cannot fight bandit in niger state in Boronu State and in Kaduna, but you want to go to the southeast to go and fight ESN and IPOB that are agitating for secession. What else can be bad from a government of APC than this? This is actually very terrible and very, very terrible and unacceptable. It could be recalled that the chairman of Shiroru Local Government Area Council, Honorable Akilu Ishaku, Kuta in an interview with a private radio station which was mentioned in Mina last week confirmed that the Boko Haram sect have hoisted their flag at Angwa Madaki saying that this is the reports that I have received from the people in the area. Can you imagine? Boko Haram has hoisted their flag in a community in Niger State and the state government, the federal government can't do anything about it. So it means that this is a government of Boko Haram. The Tinubu is Buhari Pro Max projecting the the you no know, the um how do I pull it? The objectives of Boko Haram, supporting Boko Haram to excel. That is what it means. I think the only thing is to share the country, let everybody go its own way, and let everybody go and determine uh, how they will set up their own government. That is what I think we should do in this matter. So let's have a comment that eight Niger communities have been taken over by bandits in Niger state and both state and federal governments are not doing anything about it. And these people also claim responsibility of shooting down the Air Force jet and still nothing has happened at all. Meanwhile, these same people are killing the innocent people in the Southeast and also planning to go to Niger to fight. What a joke. Thank you for listening and I'll your comments.